it's been a roller coaster, and and that was expected, right? So stepping into first of all such a role and such a dynamic team and company, I expected nothing different. So it's it's like jumping into the running train and and basically getting to the control room very very fast at the same time. Number of things I'm learning, putting things from the, let's say box of I didn't know that I did, I don't know to, to to the other boxes in the process, but. It's, it's so much energizing to be in such a growth oriented company and such an amazing team we have in the, in the UK. I'm just, I'm just amazed and you know, very, very, very positively energized. I think the way to look at that, all the announcement even that, that we did, I think it, it, it basically brings us to a very concise story that first of all, Marketa is aspiring for the growth. Second, that Europe is seen and strategically prioritized as, as yet another engine of market after the US to bring this growth. Uh, elements of that that we see, I mean, as, as, as I mentioned before, maybe we see in Europe stronger growth than in the US. We see 90% of, of the process volumes quarter one this year vis-a-vis -vis the previous, previous year, the first quarter. Uh, so my nomination is basically just basically to, 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 to make things happen, but after all, we are growing our client base, we are topping and, and, and building partnerships with very amazing companies like, like Trade Republic, like expanding our relationship with Lydia to, to, to their new venture, Sumeria. Uh, we opened a new office in Warsaw, so one, one, one hand this is putting the physical footprint into, into the uh, European Union, but also what it means effectively is we're bringing the, in Warsaw the muscle to, to power on top of the product our uh, card management capabilities that we're bringing to Europe more and more and I think effectively this, this is what we'll be very actively focusing on to bring to our customers existing and, and, and future ones pretty much starting from end of this year, beginning of the following. It's more and more resonance from basically market participants and various verticals, even of the merchants that didn't think before uh, it is possible. Because in the end of the day, I mean, the number of people, companies understand embedded finance in detail the way they want or the way they heard. And there is not a, basically a single definition except a very high level one, which is bringing the financial services element in the context of the relationship between the buyer and the seller and this and seller not being in financial services itself right so it's it's opening number of new ways to look at things prior uh, or revise the way to realize the business strategies for the companies in the ways they didn't think before it's possible so i think you know first first of all uh, and this is very high level just b before bringing it to, to this particular an amazing partnership. I think the, the way to look at a at, at number of things around embedded finance and, and autonomy is specifically for the, for the SMBs, right? They, in any country you look at, they create massive percentage of the GDP. But if you look into, let's say, the financing part of that, funding part of that, they actually stand for very small percentage of the banking assets, namely they are not having the right access or let's say fair access to the capital to fund their growth. That is limiting. And I think what, what we do with, with Oak North is yet another example, right? How that new ways embedded finance fintech space can help providing the service and access access to the service to those that were overlooked in the, let's say, very classical way of, of making the business. I think that the, 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 the reality is that we are getting so much new elements to, to put us very differently and, and get, get even a faster growth and traction on the European market. That is, you know, as simple as it may sound, uh, it's actually making whatever we are getting happen relevant to the market 
understanding the market deeper in the in the spaces we didn't play so far be, because we were lacking pretty much the the ammo or or the toys to make it happen. Uh, so this is looking into selective verticals where we believe with obviously naturally a bit limited resources in terms of uh, uh, in terms of our team we can deliver the best value and then basically over the next periods of time broaden, broadening the scope so in the end of the day start using what we start uh, what, what we what we'll be getting that's one and focus towards basically be, be, becoming very much professional and, and visible in specific parts of and of verticals or industries of the market and then get broader.